Charlie spoke with the former president yesterday right here in New York ahead of his family foundation's final Clinton Global Initiative conference. He asked the former president about the appearance of conflicts of interest between the Clinton Foundation and the State Department while his wife was Secretary of State. I've been over backwards to try to make sure there was no conflict of interest or appearance of conflict of interest. We reached an agreement with the White House before Hillary became Secretary of State about how all donations would be handled and how the foundation would be run. And I've been working for almost a year now trying to determine what more we need to do. So I said the other day, if she wins, I'll resign from the foundation board. I won't raise any money. We won't take any foreign money, nor will we take any American corporate money. I know you have said that. And, and some people then, when you hear you say that, say, then why not do it now? Why don't simply say, from now on, not whether she's elected president or not, from now on, we will not accept any money from foreign first corporations, of all, that implies and I'll resign from the board, and we'll see. Because there is nothing wrong with what we're doing now, and because I've got to wind it down. Because it takes time to undo this. We've got a lot of lives on the line. Today. I think people recognize the Clinton Foundation has done a lot of good work, a lot of good work, and has spent millions of dollars. Number two, they recognize that Clinton— Oh, Mr. Mr. Trump, I think, well, called it a criminal enterprise. Uh, well, that's Mr. Trump. I think I'm talking about the American public, and I'm talking about the people who talk about these things. They also recognize that the Clinton Global Initiative has been a gathering of people here in New York and other places to talk about how to solve problems. That's a very different issue, those two things. You can recognize that and still say, well, there have been instances here in which people have called members of the foundation and said, we'd like to be at a meeting. We like to be. Uh, we like to have a meeting with the Secretary of State. Has that happened? Well, you know what from the emails what has and hasn't right. happened, and I think you know what the State Department said. There were two instances I read about. One of which, the person didn't get what they wanted, and the other of which the request had gone through ordinary State Department channels anyway. Now that's what I read about, and that can't happen anymore. Do you believe and understand how, for some people, uh, the optics weren't good and it had the appearance of influence? I believe that people who know each other call each other all the time. All I know is what I read in the paper. They saw the papers indicated that there was a presumption of suspicion if Hillary gave a meeting to Mohammed Yunus without even bothering to call to find out the facts. Mohammed Yunus won the Nobel Prize. We're not talking about those, but people who were business exactly. people who simply wanted to be associated with the Clintons. And what happened? People asked Secretary Did of State... none of them get an opportunity to participate in a meeting or well, get an opportunity to meet well, with... The first of all, meetings are set up all the time. Members of Congress do that all the time. Members of the White House do that all the time. But the State Department has said conclusively and has offered documentary proof insofar as it exists yeah. that nothing was ever done for anybody because they were contributor to the foundation. Nothing. You were saying with respect to the foundation and whatever might have taken place with, this, in fact, with the foundation, any access to the Secretary of State, there is nothing to apologize for, nothing happened, there were no consequences, uh, and we have been as transparent as we should and can. Is that what you're saying? I believe, first of all, we have been as transparent as we can be, and we've been more transparent than any other foundation, more transparent than any other foundation has ever been asked to be, and certainly more transparent than anybody else in this line of work is. I have said that to the best of my knowledge, nobody ever got anything from the State Department because they supported the Clinton Foundation. If they did and it was inappropriate, I would say that was wrong, too. I have proved that I'm not averse to apologizing for things that I think were wrong. And in our next half hour, the former president talks to Charlie about his future, including a potential role in the White House. So many times it always seems to boil down to the optics, doesn't it, of a situation? It does. Yeah. That's, a, that's a great point, Gail. I mean, this was a, a really strong interview, I thought, between I thought the two so of too. them uh, back and forth. I think it's interesting that the former president says and has said previously that he would step down. And Charlie's mm -hmm. saying, well, why not Do now, now stop raising money sort of to prevent any, you know, appearance? Yep. The of optics, yeah. A conflict yeah. of interest, but that they'd like Chelsea to continue in that role to lead the foundation in the good work that they do.